Hey guys, I recently went on a two-day cruise trip with my family. While overall, it was certainly a wonderful experience. Cheering the ship alongside the captain was the highlight of this voyage. The captain had a map and a mariner's compass which he used to find directions at sea. A compass consists of a magnetic needle and its north pole always points north. And I got an opportunity to witness this firsthand during the voyage. The best part of my voyage, however, was experiencing the earth as one big magnet, which is what it is. That is primarily why the north pole of the needle on the compass always points north. When I first heard this, I was slightly confused. I was under the impression that unlike poles attract and like poles repel each other. Then, how can the north pole of the compass be attracted to the north? So, I discussed this with the captain and he explained to me that the earth's magnetic north pole is actually near its geographic south pole and its magnetic south pole is near the geographic north pole. That is why the compass needle always aligns itself in the north-south direction. The north pole of the compass needle gets attracted to the earth's magnetic south pole and therefore aligns itself facing the north direction. Isn't this interesting? Towards the end of our trip, the ship's captain gifted me a bar magnet which I brought back home with me. A few days ago, I was cleaning the shelf above my desk when I accidentally dropped a whole bunch of pins all over my desk. Out of sheer curiosity, I placed the magnet on the desk. What happened next was rather spectacular. All the pins arranged itself in curved lines around the magnet. These lines are known as magnetic lines of force or magnetic field lines. Do you know what caused these lines to form? All magnets exert a certain force on other magnets and magnetic materials. The region around the magnet where it exerts this force is known as its magnetic field. So, when I placed the magnet where the pins had fallen, it exerted its force on the pins, causing them to arrange themselves in its magnetic field. These field lines always extend from the north pole of a magnet to its south pole and they never intersect each other. Since magnets are strongest at the poles, the lines of force are more crowded near the poles. I'm still in awe of how much I learned about magnets on the cruise trip. I should definitely do more such trips. See you next time.